everyone welcome back to your channel in this video we will be discussing about the third problem of today's weekly contest longest binary subsequences less than or equals to k the problem states that you are given a binary string s and an integer k you need to find out the longest the length of the longest valid subsequence a valid subsequence is the one whose decimal representation is less than or equals to k for example Let's say this is this. 00100 is a subsequence of S. How? Like for, remove the first one and the last one. You will get 00100. Now, if you represent this 00100 in decimal format, you will get 4. And 4 is actually less than or equals to 5. Hence, 00100 is a valid subsequence. Similarly, 00101 is a valid subsequence. first it is a subsequence second it if you represent this in decimal format the value will be 5 and 5 is actually less than or equals to 5 so you need to find out like of all the valid subsequences you need to find out the length of the longest one so i hope the problem is clear let's try to solve it now first of all you need to note here is the k and s are in different uh, representations like k is its k is in its decimal representation s is in its binary representation now one thing that you can do is uh, you can bring both of them as same representation just to simplify your problem now you can't actually convert everything every subsequence of s into decimal format because the value of s like the length of the s is 1000 so it practically the value will be 2 to the power of 1000 which will not even fit in a 64 bit integer that's the largest in c++ so because of which you can't actually convert every subsequence of s into its decimal format you need to be careful so what you can do you can instead convert k to its binary representation so that's what the first step is like what we have done is we have just convert k to its decimal to its binary representation for just simplifying the problem now what you need to do you need to you need to find out a subsequence which is which has value less than or equals to k now let's say you took subsequence let's say this is the subsequence that you took okay now you need to tell whether this subsequence is valid or not so to tell whether the subsequence is valid or not you need to compare this subsequence with this k right so the first question that you need to answer is how will you compare these two numbers in binary format so there are like two things first if there are zeros in the front the like this zero doesn't mean anything so we can just simply ignore all the zeros in the front if there are any like currently we if we choose this subsequence let's say we can just simply ignore this zero because this uh, like zeros in the front doesn't mean it doesn't signify anything so for example like 1 1 is equals to 3 0 1 is actually 3 0 0 1 is actually 3 so you can actually ignore all the prefix zeros so now assuming that the first one the first digit is actually 1 there are two scenarios one the first one is the lengths are unequal like the length uh, let's say you are comparing this subsequence with this subsequence so you have trimmed down all the zeros so you get something whose lengths are unequal so if lengths are unequal the one with larger length would be like would have would be having larger value because the first number the first digit is actually one and if there are larger like if the length is larger it means this value will contribute large to the answer like every if you remember the how to, how to convert decimal to binary or binary to decimal this one signifies that you will add 2 to the power of i to the answer like i where i is the position of this one so if the lengths are unequal the answer is simple the one with larger length will is actually the larger number now if the lengths are equal that case is slightly interesting now if the lengths are equal what to do let's try to understand this with an example so what actually this representation means uh, as discussed like this one actually means uh, add 2 to the power of 0 to the answer which is add 1 in its decimal representation 
this one actually represents uh, represent add 2 to the power of 3 to the decimal representation similar like add 8 similarly this one represents add 32 to the decimal representation and so on and so forth now if, let, let's start from the right okay because the right one is actually the largest like will denote the largest value so as and when you see something different right that is the point where you should be able to tell which one is larger or which one is smaller let's say this one is one okay now you can immediately say that this string is larger how like you might be thinking that if all of them are ones what what is the like what will be the case that let's say if all of them are zero okay and he and in above all of them are one so will it be st uh, still larger answer is yes the reason being uh, 2 to the power of i like 2 to the power of i is actually sorry two to, uh, is actually greater than sum of all the value of 2 to the power of j where j lies between 0 to i minus 1 okay so because of this the value like even if everything is 1 right like what it will it will contribute 1 2 4 8 16 like even though every, everything contributes to the decimal representation the value is still value of this will still be larger because this itself is actually greater than the sum of entire thing here okay so that's where like the first bit which is actually different can give us like can determine which of the two string is larger so the algorithm is simple just iterate from left to right the first bit which is different just check which one has one the one which one has the bit set is the one which is larger so now we know how to compare two strings but if you remember the original problem was we need to find a subsequence of s which is actually less than equals to k so currently what we know if we if we get a subsequence if we get a like a, a string which is subsequence of s how to say whether it is valid or not currently we know that now let's try to solve the original problem wherein we need to find out the subsequence of s which is less than or equals to k so first of all let's uh, uh, as we discussed like the decimal representation doesn't actually care how many zeros were there in the front right so let's say you choose this one this one is actually the first one in the subsequence in the chosen subsequence so before this one it doesn't matter how many zeros can be right so every time you pick the first one you can actually take all the zeros before this because the if you rep like if you take all the zeros your length will be your length will increase but your value will remain the same let's say the previous previously let's take let's say you take some subsequence now you if you take some subsequence and you take zeros as well the value of that subsequence will still remain same because zero in the prefix doesn't signify anything right uh, in binary representation so that's where the first observation is if you pick zero if you pick uh, one the first one before that you can pick all the zeros that are there so every time you pick uh, you, you start from a particular one you will take all the zeros before that now after this like you take the first one after this what you need to find is what is the largest subsequence like you know all the zeros you can take right so what you what you need to do now is what is the largest subsequence in this particular suffix which has value less than or equals to k right that's what the problem is now so given a position i this i is actually the first one in our uh, input uh, in our considered subse subsequence so given a position i what is the maximum length subsequence that we can get whose value is less than or equal to k okay so again there are two things one the let's say you get you uh, you want like this is this is k okay so let's say this is k now and i is here so if i is here 
sorry so if i is here even if you start from here you know that you only have this much right so if you have only this much no matter like if you take the entire thing as well this will be smaller than k right so that's the first case if the number of uh, characters which are left is less than k dot length or not if it is just pick everything because even if you pick everything it doesn't matter uh, k will still be larger because we already know that if the lengths are unequal the one with larger the length is actually the larger well uh, is actually the larger one so k will still be larger and this condition will still hold so this case is straightforward just take everything so if the, 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 what what is the length like what is the maximum length maximum length is this s dot length minus i now let's uh, consider the second scenario wherein s dot length is greater than equals to k dot length so uh, basically this can be one of the scenarios so that the s dot whatever s we we are choosing this is the particular i uh, i points here okay so whatever string is left k's length is actually greater than uh, like k's length is actually less than equals to number of characters we have now with this in mind there is two possible answer either the answer would be k dot length okay or the answer would be k dot length minus 1 why see uh, k dot length minus 1 is self explanatory because k we already know that the a sub a, a string which have longer length is actually larger so even if you are not able to extract a string of a subsequence of length k it is guaranteed that you can you can uh, extract any k minus 1 uh, length substring or subsequence and that will still be smaller than or equals to k because the k value of k like the, the length of k is actually greater so that's where k length minus 1 is always possible like this is something which is always possible because let's say this is a string okay and you are not able to extract k length string so even if you are not able to extract k length string you can just select any k minus 1 characters let's say you select this k minus 1 character this is uh, proved to be smaller than the original string because the length is actually smaller so now let's consider this case like uh, we already solved this particular case where the as where the length of the leftover string is actually less than k and here we say just pick everything we now for the next case we are saying that k minus 1 is always possible like you, you can always extract k minus 1 from this uh, leftover string the thing is whether you can extract a string of length k or not N notice that k plus 1 is not possible because if you pick k plus 1 definitely that string would be greater than k and this condition would not hold so that's where k minus 1 is always possible just we just need to figure out whether k is possible or not so how to uh, solve that piece like whether k is possible or not now let's say i is here okay so and this is k uh, like this string actually denotes k now if i is here you first you just try to match with k one and one right so the, they are equal that's fine now zero and zero they are equal that's fine zero zero equal fine one one equal fine one zero so now this is one and this is zero right so if we pick this one then we are saying that the string will the pick the, the subsequence that we will pick by choosing this one will always be greater than k because of the same reason we have discussed like the first the first uh, position wherein the one bit is set and another one is, another one is unset the one which have this bit set is the larger one so because if we 
this bit is set and this is an unset this is actually k so if it is unset in k and set in the given subsequence the given subsequence will always be larger so that's where uh, you actually no matter what you actually can't take this one so now your current pointer of k is still here you will see there is a match so that's fine just move forward now there is again a match just fine move forward 0 and 0 match fine move forward 0 and 1 again there is a mismatch and the mismatch states that this is 0 and this is 1 again the same thing if you pick this the concerned string the string which will you will get as a output will always be greater but you need always smaller so that's where you can't actually pick this so you will see this okay this is a match that's fine now you will move uh, sorry so you will move this forward now again the same like uh, uh, you have this as one and this as zero so you can take this because if you take this no like this is one and this is zero so k will be greater that is fine right so you can take this or you can like ignore this and just take the other piece that is also that is also fine so basically we are saying k minus 1 is always possible and for checking whether k is possible or not just iterate from right left to right and just keep on checking whether there is a match or not if there is match just keep for keep moving forward as soon as there is unmatch mismatch if the upper one is one the basically the value in k is one and the uh, chosen subsequence is zero that is a good thing to you because now if you choose one of like even uh, if you choose one bit that is set in k and not set in the chosen string you can take anything after it that would not matter so that is the first piece now if you have this and you you encounter this kind of situation wherein you are like in k the bit is unset but in the actual value bit is set so for this kind of situations you will actually skip the one in the string because you know if you take this you will not be able to like the resultant string will actually be greater than k and it will not be satisfying this condition so hope you get what we are doing so for each we will like what what's the now current algorithm for each starting position of one just run this algorithm and find out the maximum length and that will be your answer so uh, let's just quickly look at the pseudo code so what we are doing is initially like we are pointing at the first position of k now for each character j from i to s dot length minus s dot length basically starting from i to s dot length for each character j if k like uh, if the bit is set in k but not set in j in that case we know that anything we will choose from now on will be smaller so that's where like we will just uh, return k we know that we can actually form k now for the second for the second case wherein we are saying that if they are equal we will just continue like current which is equal and just continue uh, for the next character in this uh, sequence but if the one in s is greater like s is one and the one in k is zero this is something you can't actually take so we can't actually take and we'll just increment j but we'll not increment k so that's how we will compare uh, or basically find the answer of this uh, problem like given a position i what is the maximum subsequence length which have value less than or equals to k now with this what we are saying is now we have the solution first if you remember we have started saying that we will uh, for every first one we can actually take all the zeros before it okay and from starting from here 
this uh, algorithm like uh, the one that starts with i find me the maximum length subsequence this algorithm will give us what is the maximum length that you can pick from this given suffix so prefix you know all the zeros suffix you know from the algorithm so for every one you will run this algorithm and you will finally get a value which like the maximum length whatever maximum length you will get that you will just return as an answer so let's quickly look at the code that will make things more clear so this is uh, this is the function and this entire piece is just to convert k into the binary so i hope uh, you can look at it yourself if you have any doubts just ping me uh, and for the next piece what we are doing is we are actually counting all the zeros up till here and then calling this function max length to give us the maximum length of suffix that we can take from s starting from position j now we take this over all the possible j and as like we, we have to calculate zeros so after computing this particular index we are, we are checking if it is zero if it is just increment the answer so that it can be taken in the next set of indexes so now let's take a look at the code of uh, max length function so the first case is very simple as you have discussed uh, just before this so this is the first case where s dot length minus i is actually less than k dot length so s dot length minus uh, i i is a, i is actually s position is actually less than k dot length in that case just return this otherwise we will start k position from zero and s position we will start from this particular index and continue until the end of this string now if it is already smaller just continue okay uh, what already smaller means we will come to that uh, if s is greater like s is 1 k is 0 you can't do anything you have to move forward you will just increment j and just continue like that's now if k is greater k is 1 and s is 0 it means you have taken a bit which is actually like which is which will actually make k larger irrespective of what you choose afterwards so basically you have taken a bit you have taken a bit which is set in k and not set in s so now whatever you choose in s doesn't matter so that's where after doing this i am just uh, making this boolean uh, true and after that if this boolean is true i am not even checking what is there i am just uh, incrementing position and continue and if uh, this is the case we will increment k position as well because uh, we know that we have taken this k position now we have to iterate over the next position so at the end we will just check whether we have iterate we have taken all the k position or not if we have taken all the k position it means we found a string that actually is less than or equals to k and is of length k so we'll just return k length otherwise if you haven't found that we will just return k length minus one as we have discussed so hope you got the solution uh, if you have any doubts in this problem please post them in the comment section below i will be happy to answer there is one more thing before you go uh, before you go so s dot length is actually thousand here right so that's where this solution works because uh, if you if you know that we are iterating over all uh, all the things here so this is order n and we are again iterating over this entire string this is again order n right so the current complexity is order n square but if s dot length is actually larger that order n square complexity would not work so we have to actually do some kind of memoization so basically we need to solve this particular problem given a position i what is the maximum length subsequence that we can get whose value is less than k and the same problem but with increased constants so that is what a uh, hint for this particular piece is dp basically you need to come up with some recursive function for calculating this thing and then you will memoize it that's where like you end up saving a lot of uh, recomputation because you can see there are a lot of recomputations happening 
so that's a hint i will post the actual solution in the comment section below and if you want me to actually uh record a video for explaining this please post them as well i will be happy to do that so just to give you more hints these are the three things that you can think of like if there are like there are a lot of recomputations so how to save recomputations now once you figure out there are recomputations and how to save it like one of the possible ways or one of the easiest ways to just think of a recursive solution and just do memoization that will actually solve the recomputation that's what we do in top down dp now once you found a recursive solution you can actually memoize it and that would that would bring down the complexity from order n square to something like order n into b where b is number of bits in this case 30 now this is a hint for the recursive function itself you can think of what is a possible outcome for a particular position so this is let's say i so what like what are the possible outcomes there are two outcomes only right whether you will take this particular position or you will don't take this particular position in your subs in your final subsequence so that's what the hints are you can just think of it and i am sure you will be able to reach the solution if you haven't just post them in the comment section below i will uh, help you i will post the actual solution actual code of this solution as well in the comment section do check that out if you like the video give it a thumbs up and do subscribe if you haven't already thank you